Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Cricket 22 career mode video with Dean. Ooh, the drama of the sound effect of the bat spinning. And it is the Canes. We've won the toss and we're going to bat first. Now, can I just say before we begin, everyone, I hope I get this video out to you today because my power is scheduled to be out for the next eight hours. So I'm hoping, I've got about 90 minutes before that time hits. I'm really hoping I can get this recorded and done in time. Uh, I'm not gonna bowl. Oh, I actually didn't bat, but I am gonna bowl. Sandeep's taken the wickets, I've taken a catch. I'm not gonna be getting ready here. So didn't, uh, didn't, wasn't required with the bat at all. What about with the ball? What have I got in store? Oh, I was hoping you would sweep it straight to um that short mid wicket. So the heat, bit of a partnership here between Lynn and Tommy Cooper. Did anyone else make runs for them? Sorry. Look at this. They were four for twenty-eight. Chris Lynn must have made pretty much all of the runs at the start. And between the other four batsmen, there's been four runs. Oh really mistimed that. Tommy Cooper. So my job at the moment, because the required rate is a little bit under 10, is to just try and keep these two quiet. Especially this guy, Lynn. He's having a look around the field, seeing where the gaps are, trying to point them out. Deep mid wicket, I think, is a choice. If he wants to go there, he goes down the ground, mistimed. So long on's going to keep it to just the one. That's a cracking throw in, by the way. Direct hit. Lovely. And this has been a nice tidy over. With one ball to come. It's been five from it. Well, it's going to turn into nine, isn't it? That's disappointing. Oh, great. Well, now I'm involved during the batting power play. Yep. And that's going to probably be a boundary. They need 29 from 12. This is really important that I actually bowl well here. Okay, I'm really questioning where to bowl here. I've got no heap of idea. That's a good one, a dot. I really try and follow him and... Oh, that ball is unbelievable because he had no idea where it was going. Yep. This time, Wildermuth gets it around the corner. I think that's going to be a boundary. I've got to keep these next couple of balls tidy. Yep. Along the ground. Hopefully just two. Fielder, what are you doing? Mate, you can't be having that nonsense in the field. Oh, is this going to be another boundary? No, I think this one will be, will be stopped. But that fielder in the deep is doing a horrible job. There's been 15 from this over. 14 from the over. Oh, God. Sandeep. He's taken four. They need 14 from the final over. They got 14 off the last. Come on, Sandeep. Oh, look at that. That'll be one. Swepson and just gets Wildermuth on strike. He's a good player, Wildermuth, too. So they'll need, uh, we could go to a super over here. Oh, what a delivery. You love that. 14 from three. Boundaries required every ball now. That's in the air. I think that's six. That is a monster hit. Eight required from the final two. Come on, Sandy. Oh, it's four. And the Heat will need four from the final ball to win. Jeez, this is where those sloppy fielders come into effect. I can't change the field. I can't do anything. Last ball, game on the line. He's got it over the top. Is it going to get to the boundary? The Heat have won a thriller. Oh, Sandy wins player of the game, but the Heat win off the final ball. Far out. Look, personally... My ball, like literally one run, is all that was the difference. It's that fielder in the deep who let the boundaries occur. Can I can I watch him? Can I watch him back here? When I was bowling, is it this guy here? This guy, like this. This is what wins and loses games here. Things like this, they cost you. They cost you the game. All right, next game. Disappointing result, that last one. I can't believe we didn't get over the line. I blame myself. 
So strikers have won, they're going to bat first, which means we will be chasing here. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not handed the ball, but I have been. I mean, this is the third over. Surprising to me, considering how poor I was in the previous game. Especially during this uh, like power play style period. Yep. No, that's in a gap, that's full. I'd rather go for the economy than the actual wickets because I just don't feel capable of doing it. I haven't taken wickets at all in this big bash. Oh, there it is! There's my first! What a ripping catch! First wicket through the big bash. And an unbelievable catch taken to deliver it for me. It was right. And the striker's two for 30. Okay. So a wicket early. And now we have the ability to put the fielders out. Because it is no longer the power play. Oh, it's sliced. It's into the stand, though. That's a good shot. Renshaw's first delivery. Oh, what a ball. And now again, they're back to like seven from three balls. with uh, From four balls, sorry, with the six being the major one. This should be a catch, I reckon. Man on the rope. Yes! I wasn't sure how close he was to the rope. I thought it might have carried over. But a good catch in the deep. And that's the wicket of Renshaw. This one just turning back into him enough that he couldn't quite get over the top of it or underneath it enough. Look at that. And the catch taken just about a metre and a half inside the rope. Sandeep, a good catch. Three for 57. Matty Short comes to the middle. Sandeep took a wicket as well. Which means they are four down and under the pump. Four for 63. Hopefully this should be a nice win. And we are going to win with ease. Well done to the Canes. An eight wicket win with two and a half overs to spare. That is a big result. Benny McDermott, 73, not out. Player of the match honours. You love it. The Canes. Lovely win. Just before we get into the next game, I want to um, I want to have a look at uh, at some of the stats for this tournament. Player of the series. I'm absolutely nowhere near it, unfortunately. Where am I in the batting? In the batting, I've uh, only had four innings, but I've made 219 runs. Where am I in the averages? Averages. Sort. I'm actually second to Aaron Finch in the averages. Averaging 109 this big bash. The Gades have won. They're going to bowl first, so they're going to be chasing. Will we get a chance with the bat to set this target? We have had a couple of games in a row where we haven't had to be involved. This is a bit more of a green pitch. We're going to get a couple of overs in here. Three for 145. We've got, what's that, 20, 20 balls left? Okay. What can I provide for the Canes? That's a boundary, I think. That is well-timed. But I am absolutely on fire at the moment in this competition with the bat. Should really be up the order. Yeah, yeah. Now through mid-wicket, should be two. This is already like a good over because I've got six from a couple of balls. Yep. Oh, not quite timed as well as I would have liked. We still want to, and we're gonna get it again. Zahir Khan, none for 28. He has been expensive. His first over must have gone for quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. And now down the ground. Oh, this is gonna be tight. Dive. Got home, I think. We might send it upstairs, but I'm pretty confident I'm home. Yeah. Not out, says the umpire. If you could just get that that experience of right through the power surge. He's hit that in the air. Hopefully it's gone far enough. Man, it was awfully close to getting underneath it, but it's four. Oh, has he beat? Oh, no, this is disastrous. <laughs> that was terrible. It went straight to the fielder. Oh, I've absolutely burned Mac right there. 
after he got me my first test wicket in the previous game. Absolutely burned him with that. Well, I have to make amends for running a bloke out. And a six is probably one way to do it. Yep. That's not quite timed as well, but it should still probably be a four. Well, it's holding up a little bit. Now it gets there. This is just a little cameo performance I have to provide here. We've hit 15 from the over. And that'll be another four. So... 19 coming from that first power surge over of Aaron Finch. Unfortunately, I did run out my partner in the process, but we do have uh, Peter Hanscom at the other end, who's a very quality player. And hopefully we can push this target up to about 190. Would be perfect. Yep. I mean, that's smart, actually. He got me on strike. Because he goes, you're 24 from 8. Get on strike again. Or in the uh, innings, actually. That's four more. So, one ball left. Can we get a six to get to 190? Aaron Finch is going to be the key wicket as well. Last ball. That's six, yep. I think. Absolutely sent it down the ground. Into the stands. And we've gone along the ground. I don't normally show you these highlight videos, but I feel like because there hasn't been a heap going on today, I'll show you some of these quality shots. This might have been the last shot of the day. Absolutely tonked down the ground. So four for 190. We got there in the end, the target we wanted. I ended up 30, 39 from 12. Goodness me, that's ridiculous. Um, can we do anything with the ball? Or is 190 enough for a... Hobart Hurricanes victory, Riley Meredith with the ball in hand. Let's watch the first ball and then we'll skip and see if anything happens. Waiting. Oh, he's pulled it away. Almost taken. So Aaron Finch, the leading run scorer in the tournament. Thompson rips through the lineup as to sand deep. I've been given the ball at 7 for 73. Unbelievable. 7 for 76, sorry. Waiting. Bloody hell. And the Renegades, who looked very good in this competition, have just been handed an absolute belting at the hands of the Hurricanes. They're not winning this game. This is this is a victory for us. We're going to soak up every single minute of it. Oh, I reckon he's hit that straight to the fielder. Oh, just over his head. Well played. Well, they need 100 from the last five overs, so it's about 20 and over. Even with my poor bowling at times during the short format, I don't think they're going to get it. Which you do love to see. That one. Oh, you could have ran forward an extra four metres. I reckon that could have been a chance. Oh, got it over the top. That's a boundary. Seven for 119. Didn't need any more bowling from me. Jordan Thompson's 4 for 24 got him player of the game on us. 39 from 12. Not bad either. Uh, as the Canes winning by 44 runs. That's a big shellacking here. Uh, would have got the bonus point as well. And would have got a heap of staff. Like, uh, looking at that run rate. Would we have got the bonus point at the 10 over mark? Just by the looks of it here. As you can see, that 10th over, just the Hobart Hurricanes started to accelerate away. And you can see where I came in towards the end. It really just jumped up quite a lot. Well, I'm going to leave it there for today. Three games, one video. Unfortunately, just the one little performance with the bat, and it was a little cameo. So hopefully the video does have a little bit of length to it. Apologies if it doesn't. Uh, but we are going to keep playing the Big Bash in the next couple of videos. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all. Next time, bye for now.